Hey everyone, this is Jean with Jean Living Simple, and I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, today's topic is going to be um, uh, a question that a co-worker, my co-worker Tanya and her husband who watched the channel, um, wanted to know. It's just why did I choose to live this way, you know, choose to live simple. So I thought that was an excellent question, and I'd like to address it. Um, I think this goes back for a while. I had a great aunt, my great aunt Laura, who lived in a little house without electricity and running water. She had well water. She had the outhouse, and she was she was perfectly happy. She lived behind us, and we'd have to walk across a log bridge, which was a little scary when I was a kid, to go across. But I enjoyed watching how she lived. You know, she managed to do just well, and I wish I'd taken notes. Also, I was raised a Quaker, and one thing in the Quaker church, they have this um, testimony of simplicity, uh, simplicity, I think it's called that, and it's where they encourage you to live simply. Now, I went, fell away from that church and, and got caught up in the trap of having stuff, you know, throughout my first marriage, and even some other years. It took me a while to realize, you know, that something was missing in my life. And to me was the connection um, to nature. Because my dad really instilled that in me. He, he loved nature. So, um, after living in Atlanta, and that was my last stint in that kind of life, I came out here and I just haven't looked back. I keep getting rid of stuff. I still have too many things. And I'm slowly, you know, keep eliminating things. But that doesn't mean that I'm living in forced poverty. This is something that I choose to live. And I still have some comforts. I have electricity. I have an air conditioner. I have TV. I have a refrigerator. I have electric lights. You know, but I don't, because I live in a small space, I don't use as much electricity. My electric bill this month was 30 bucks, and it's been really warm. So, you know, that goes to tell you, you know, that you can live a simple life and not use a lot of stuff. You know, a lot of electricity it take that depletes the earth. And that's one reason why I'd love to have solar, maybe one day. But, um, I want the earth and the, my grandkids and their children to enjoy nature like I do. I want them to see the funny little tactics that uh, a Carolina chickadee does. And here, uh, watch a male northern cardinal feed his young, you know. And to see the ruby-throated hummingbirds. And to watch the little rabbits run across the yard. And even the annoying squirrels getting in your feeders. And the little chipmunks. And every once in a while, I've even seen an armadillo here, which was kind of odd. But yeah, they've made it this far north and east. But it's healing to be near nature. And living this way, I'm closer to it. When the weather is nice and the mosquitoes aren't biting me so bad like they were, were earlier, I wanted to film this outside, actually. Uh -huh. You know, I love sitting outside and watching them. But I've got this, here's my laptop, and behind me you can see my window, and I've got feeders out there. And so I'm constantly uh, watching nature. Because this is where I usually sit, you know, if I'm not cooking or something, this is where I'm at. So it's, life is good this way. And the less you have, the less complicated your life is. So that's one of the... Let's see, let me check my, let me check my notes here and see if, uh, oh yeah, it reduces stress. Also, it's like I've got a, I don't have to work myself to death, so the work and life balance is better, since I, it doesn't cost as much, and that's a good reason right there in itself, especially in this day and time. And hmm, let's see, I'm more self-sufficient too. I don't have to rely on anything. And I want to end this by saying how grateful I am for what I do have. And I don't worry about, I don't, it's like, I, 
sometimes I think in the past it's like I wanted something so bad and once I got it I thought that'd make me happy well you, it's like this vicious cycle you keep wanting stuff keep wanting you know stuff to make you happy to make you happy you know and it's like this happiness that you're always chasing and I don't have that anymore so I'm truly grateful for what I have and my needs you know I have my needs are met that's that's what I really want to say my needs are met and so I have very I really don't want anything else so that's where my happiness is so I hope this uh, answers some questions and maybe inspires somebody you know to try to live a little simpler a little smaller the uh, smaller carbon foot uh, step is I think real important nowadays so with that I'd like for y'all to keep it simple and please like and subscribe thanks for watching